Hey everybody, I'm using the Auric Orbiter and the green scrub brush along with some awesome end cap and I'm trying a new process. Unfortunately, my video camera wasn't on for the actual shampooing, but the process is to come in and pre-spray with my work sprayer, vacuum if needed, and then scrub it in really good, agitate with the green brush, go both directions, and then use the Vac Master. This is a eight gallon, it's got a two stage vacuum motor. I mean, this is the motor that they put in portable carpet extractors, cleaners. This is just a vacuum. And I pulled this back out. I used to use it if you look back in my videos, but I'm going to pre-agitate and then post-vac. So what you're seeing is the post-vacuum. And it's got a brush roller on the head. I can tell you where I got that on Amazon. I need to clean that off. But anyway, it's been a while since I fired it up and... I was going to show you here the brush roller, how fast it spins. But unfortunately, I think there was a clog, so I'll get that fixed uh, right after this. And then in the next room, I'll show you. Yeah, it's barely spinning. And this little cap, I couldn't get it off, but there's like a turbine in there. It's... Uh, it's the roller is driven by the suction. The little turbine creates a suction. And yeah, I think the either there's hair wrapped around it or I'll have to get it uh, fixed up and I'll show you, but this thing is incredible. So you can see it's laying the triangles in real nice. It's picking up any encapsulated crystals that may have already dried. And it's also picking up any moisture. The video of the pre-spraying with the works uh, gun and a little two gallon jug, oh my gosh. Since I was just shampooing with the, or agitating with the Auric, I've been considering getting a CRB. And so I thought, well, I wonder what would happen if I just shampooed the carpet with an actual uh, end cap product. And you could use Green Dragon. I'll probably continue to use that. But um, I had some awesome end cap left so I thought I'd try that out I think I put eight maybe ten ounces in the two gallon sprayer I wanted it to be kind of sudsy so I could shampoo and see the swirls and you could see looking good and I'll show you the suction watch this crazy I turned the volume down on the clip so you can hear me. But it is pretty loud, but that's okay. That's that two-stage motor. Uh, when I bought it, it's been about a year. It was $167. I think they're $200 now, but look at that. It just picks up the rest of whatever's there and lays out some serious triangles or diamonds, I guess people call them. So I did this job and I'll show you here, watch this. See that bad boy spinning now, right? It'll burn the carpet if you lay it face down and flip the machine on, so you always want to be careful. 
the wand, that little black clip, you can actually twist it and it let, opens up a hole so that it lets the vacuum out if you want to do that. But I just move the, flip the head over. So I don't have to use the triangle brush if I'm post vacuuming. And I was concerned that I might need to use a, a regular cotton iron man pad or something like that after agitating. But if the idea with the CRB or like I think OxyFresh, they just put the end cap solution down and agitate it in. And then, you know, OxyFresh doesn't even do the post vac. They tell you to do it. And I thought, how's that going to work if I agitate the awesome end cap in? Because there were some urine spots and there was some spilt coffee. And I thought, how am I going to extract that out? Um, you know, is it going to come out since it's real low moisture in the vacuum? And I will tell you, I did not have to use a pad. The carpets came clean. By the time I was done, they were pretty close to being about 90, 95% dry when I post vac So it did get up uh, some moisture, actually. There was a lot of debris. That's the nice thing about the spinning brush on the head. It actually picked up all the debris that the green auric brush pulled to the surface and hair and stuff and it pulled it into the vacuum along with about a thumbs, half a thumbs worth of liquid. So pretty cool. There it is. Wanted to share with you guys the VacMaster 8-gallon two-stage vac and the new method.